In this video, you'll see how you can set up AWS IoT SiteWise data source plugins for Amazon Managed Grafana. With this integration, you can collect, query, and analyze data from your industrial equipment and then visualize your asset performance metrics using interactive Grafana dashboards. To get started, let's go to the AWS IoT SiteWise console to prepare some data that we can explore. AWS IoT SiteWise provides a quick start demo we can deploy to create temporary assets and generate sample data. The demo created two models. Let's look at the wind farm asset model. Each model includes defined attributes, measurements, transformations, and metrics that will allow us to compute common industrial performance values and metrics. The wind farm can contain one or more wind turbines, which is defined in the hierarchy of the model. Let's take a quick look at the turbine asset model. Here you can see the turbine's attribute definitions, such as alarm threshold, location, make, and model. Let's view the demo assets. The demo wind farm asset model includes four turbines. Let's look at one of them. We can see the turbine's attributes. On the measurements tab, we can see wind speed measurement values. On the metrics tab, we have computed averages for both wind speed and generator power. Now that we've seen the kinds of data being generated by the assets, let's go to Amazon Managed Grafana to add AWS IoT SiteWise as a data source. We'll begin by creating a new workspace, which is a logically isolated Grafana server. For the authentication method, we can choose AWS Single Sign-On, or AWS SSO, or Security Assertion Markup Language, or SAML. In this case, we've already enabled AWS SSO which Amazon Managed Grafana uses to authenticate and manage user access. Let's retain the Service Managed Permissions type, which ensures that the proper IAM roles and policies are enabled. We'll select AWS IoT SiteWise as the data source and leave all the other default options. Now that the workspace is active, we need to assign users to it. Let's assign a user group. We'll grant admin permissions to the user group so its members can access the data source. On the Data Sources tab, we can see that AWS IoT SiteWise is the only attached source. Now let's configure the AWS IoT SiteWise data source in Grafana. Let's sign in to the Grafana workspace we just created. We'll use the admin user group's AWS SSO credentials. Amazon Managed Grafana auto-discovers the accounts and resources we have available for AWS data sources. We'll select AWS IoT SiteWise as the service and specify our region. Now that AWS IoT SiteWise is a provisioned data source, let's go to the settings and make sure the plugin is working. As you can see, our data source is working. Let's configure some dashboard panels so we can explore and visualize our data. We'll select AWS IoT SiteWise as the data source. Let's run a sample query for property value aggregates using the same demo turbine asset we viewed earlier. Let's choose a property to query and specify a time range. The dashboard now graphs the average turbine power for the last hour. Let's give the panel a title and save the dashboard. We'll rename the dashboard as well. We can create alerts for panel data to show state changes moments after they occur, so we can quickly identify any performance issues with our industrial equipment. Let's set an alert to evaluate the average power every minute for every 10 minutes. We'll have the alert trigger when average turbine conditions fall below 6,250 watts per minute for longer than five minutes. You can now see the alert threshold on the graph. We can also configure settings for occurrences when the alert collects no data or times out. When we save the dashboard, we can add notes to describe our changes. Let's create another panel that visualizes wind speed. For this metric, we'll create a gauge visualization. 
We'll specify AWS IoT SiteWise as the data source and query the actual property value from the demo turbine asset. The property we'll query is wind speed in meters per second. Let's name this panel. In the display options, we can choose to show threshold labels around the gauge band. On the field tab, we have additional options. For example, we can set minimum and maximum values for our gauge. We can also add thresholds that show color-coded bands outside the gauge that correspond with the conditions we define. Let's specify the unit of measurement for these fields and then apply our changes. Let's add one more panel for our dashboard alerts. We'll use the Alert List visualization. We'll choose to display only alerts from this dashboard. We can also choose which alert states to include. Now let's apply these changes and update the dashboard. You've just seen how you can set up AWS IoT SiteWise data source plugins for Amazon Managed Grafana. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.